Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I thought I would film for you a really exciting vlog. So today, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I'm heading to a parliament event to discuss organ donation, and I'm so, so excited. It's a topic I've been really passionate about, and I'll talk to you more about that a bit later. I'm here in my brother's place in London. Always a pleasure to visit him here. It is so beautiful literally views the days. In fact, I might just mouthwash before I go because I want to be minty fresh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good day. Let's go. And this is my outfit, by the way. I've just got this quite old blouse, to be honest. I think it was from like Pretty Little Thing or something. I've got these trousers, which are also old, but I do have a new bag from Tesco, which I wasn't planning to buy. If you saw my vlog the other day, then yeah, you, these are the spontaneous buys. So this is my bag and these are my new... <laughs> <laughs> if I can show you, these are my new shoes, which I'm about to walk around in London wearing. I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do to stay cute. Stay cute though. Okay, I actually really have to go now, so I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Bye. <laughs> Such a beautiful day. <laughs> His camera's better than mine. <laughs> London is pretty sweet. Hey guys, um, I am back home after the most incredible, motivational, low-key emotional day. Let me tell you about the actual day. So um, it wasn't actually in Parliament. So this was an event run by the Department of Health to discuss organ donation in religious groups, specifically black and Asian religious groups and ethnic minorities. And even just walking into the room was incredible. So you had people representing the Christian faith, the Islamic faith, the Jewish faith, Seventh-day Adventists, Catholics, Anglicans, Hindus, Sikhs, prominent British leaders all gathered together. We listened to some stories, we listened to talks from uh, two people who had received transplants, one of whom was a Christian and the other was a Muslim. And they talked about their experience of needing a kidney, of being on dialysis. And and it was like, <laughs> it was emotional. I think there almost wasn't a dry eye in the house. It was stirring and so incredible to hear their stories of what they've been through, of what they've survived, of the emotional turmoil that we often unintentionally can gloss over sometimes. Then we had a talk by a leading consultant transplant surgeon, which was wonderful to hear his perspective on the medical view of things. Then we got to hear from a specialist nurse who's experienced in uh, organ donation, busting some myths, some really common myths, some of the national initiatives that are going on right now. We had an amazing talk from the co-chair of the BAME community. And then we had a talk from the Deputy Director of Health Ethics, talking about the current discussions, their option to change the way that we handle uh, organ donation in this country, whether we turn, well, in England, in Wales, they've already done it. Um, so in England, they're currently discussing about whether to change from an opt-in system, so choose to give your uh, organs uh, when you pass away or an opt-out system. So it was really just a day of bringing together all these different communities and groups to discuss the different issues that are underlying and that right now are literally preventing um, some people from donating their organs. Certain myths, certain um, misunderstandings, lack of opportunity, lack of conversation. One of the talks which stuck with me the most was a talk from a chap who lost his brother. His bro he lost his brother when his brother was just 20 years old. And he told us about their journey, he told us about 
about how losing his brother was such a shock in a car crash they lost him and how they as a uh, Sikh family came to the decision to donate his organs. One of his brother's kidneys went to a mother, the other kidney went to another young girl needing a transplant and his heart went on to save the life of an older man. It was so emotional to hear that perspective because we often hear from donor recipients but actually from the family and seeing what it meant to them um, to enable them to balance both their religion and passion for the life that their brother led and his wishes for what he wanted to be done with his organs after life was, was really just incredible. Yeah, I've had the most amazing day. I have to go back to Cardiff now. I've got work tomorrow so I only got the one day off work to come here and do that. But it was just so great to engage with such amazing people and I met people who I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna see again and hopefully work with in the future. Before I preach at you guys, although it's probably a little bit late, what are your thoughts on organ donation? I would love to hear your comments. And um, what do you think about organ donation? Or do you simply just not think about it? And I don't want you to feel convicted or like you have to pretend here. There was a time when I didn't think about it at all. I literally didn't think about it. As a medical student, organ donation was not a thing to me at all. Um, until it was and everything changed and as I said I will discuss that more in a future video and um, but yeah I'd love to know your thoughts on it I don't know if you guys are aware of this but actually in the UK uh, black and Asian uh, ethnic minorities can be more likely to need a kidney however are also less likely to donate one and um, after death given the process of needing to match donors with recipients that can complicate things and it actually means that um Black people who are on the waiting list wait on average nine months longer, Asians on average six months longer, and sometimes that's just too long. I'm really excited for the upcoming things, just starting that conversation and engaging with you guys about organ donation, about blood donation, and about how we can save lives because, ugh, it really does save lives. I think I'm going to end the vlog there. I hope you've enjoyed coming around London with me. I've had the most wonderful day and I feel like I can't even express to you guys how wonderful that was. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a comment as always. I love hearing from you guys. I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>